Jacksonville, Florida is the site for this divisional showdown between the Colts and the Jaguars. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge, and when you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. Two divisional opponents about to meet for the second time, and I know it's going to be a heated affair. Of course it's going to be a heated affair, Jim. These two teams, they play twice a year. They do not like each other. So it's hard in a situation like this to dominate and win two times in a row. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. And he's brought down by Antoine Buffet. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. First down coming up from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice tackle. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. First down here. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. And now they'll try over again on second down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here into the open he steps out nice job that time getting that extra yard and getting that first down this offense methodically just marching down the field flex round, flex round. double tight end formation there's the quarterback barking out new signals first and ten play fake here He'll throw it over the middle. Justin Blackman hauls it in. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Tackles made. Number 32 on the carry. No game. Play number six coming up on this drive. They'll run it off the toss. They go to the right side. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Quarterback drops back, looking to scramble. He'll fire it out to the left. Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on a run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. Out of the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Going across the middle. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. A short field goal try on the way. No, hold on. There is no kick. It, it, it's a fake field goal. Incompletion, forcing it. In the... Here we go. 
snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun, working that left side. Makes the catch inbound. Defense is about discipline, and when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers, a little overzealous, they get out of the rush lanes, the quarterback gets outside and makes the play. Inaccurate with that one. Can't complete the pass. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. And he wants to throw it across the middle. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, that was an awesome job that time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion. Drop back, shotgun formation. The quarterback throws the pass. No separation at all. Incomplete. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards. It gets them another first down. The defense comes out in the nickel from the shotgun. They're going to get him here for a sack. That is a huge sack for the quarterback to take. Not only that, bad blocking up front. They just let him run through there. They didn't even try. And the clock keeps moving. Tough situation now for the offense. We've got a flag. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. Offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Play number six coming up on this drive. Play action. Running away from the pressure. The quarterback throws to the right. And the throw is incomplete. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The formation here, shotgun. Looking across the middle, just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. He's got a chance to return this one. He's going to be tackled right around the 40. First down and 10. Draw play. Trying to power his way right up the middle. He's got a wide open alley. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Touchdown, Jaguars. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take it. First and ten. They hand it off to him again. A tackle behind the line. 32, the ball carrier on the play. Loss of one. Flex round! Flex round! Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Staying on the ground. He's brought down at the 20 yard line. Gets the ball. Five yard round! Game Flex on round! The play. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Down the field. He brings it in. Jacksonville is in for the score. Touchdown. What a nice job by the receiver. There's the long throw down the field. He runs. He looks it in, makes the catch, and scores.
first and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. Taking off. Fifteen minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. From the red zone, first and ten. Play action fake, looking to throw. Here's the pass, and it's broken up incomplete. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second and ten. Trying to work the middle of the field. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Third down and ten. Play action. Quarterback has it on his. He's got the touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully. Right Right on target, touchdown. Ohio, Ohio. The quarterback's calling something out. First down and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Stiff arm. Good yardage picked up on that call. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back seeing the proper hole. Gets up in there and picks up big yards. That big gainer on the ground gives them now a first down on the spot. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Offense now in the red zone. Number 33 with the carry. No gain on the play. Offense lines up here. Tossing it to the running back. Touchdown. And he's across for the touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on. Takes the knee. That's going to do it here in this one. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up. Brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover. Another win here today, and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, well, it is crazy, and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams. But that is a pressure that you like, and I say it to you all the time. Athletes love it when you look at them. Well, we're going to look at them, at them now. Let's see if they can go undefeated. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.
and everybody is set for this matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans here at Reliance Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. Yeah, you know, you're, you're too kind. They're trying to ruin their season to take away that undefeated season, and, that, and that's what it's about. So it's exciting for you preparing, getting ready to go in these kind of matchups, and I think uh, both teams, in my eyes, physically, they're even, so this should be exciting. These two divisional rivals about to meet for the second time, and I don't know what's going to prevent it from being the same outcome as the first. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When you have games or teams that are playing each other for the second time, you learn a lot from the first. And I, here's what stops the first team from winning again. The fact that the one that lost, they have that edge. They're mad about the fact that they lost, and we'll see if that's enough where they can overcome. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Sometimes you got to give the coaches credit. They design a play that's smart, easy for the players to manage. And what we got there is a throw and a catch. And now they have a pretty good chance of getting the first down. Second down. It's a throw all the way. Looking at every option on the money. Ryan Cushing puts it into that play. This is what you call throwing a wide receiver open against man-to-man -man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Quarterback drops back. Play action. Brings it in. The tackle is made. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Games 12. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Steps back to throw. Trying to find an open man. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. They are set back in long distance territory after that sack. Second down coming up. They pounce on him there. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and eight. Looking for an open receiver on the right. It's off the mark. Should be what we call a gimme. kick is good. You always want to be rewarded. First and ten. Trying to make something happen. Under pressure and incomplete. Nice job by the defensive backs. The quarterback buys the extra time. He gets outside of the pocket, but look at him. They stay right with the pass receivers. Nobody gets open. Quarterback has to throw it away. And it's knocked down, incomplete. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. The safety near the line of scrimmage takes the staff from the shotgun, secures it with two hands. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. First and ten to the ground here. 
spins away from the tackle. They have their first first down of the game. Good job by the running back that time, breaking tackles, finding the open hole, and picking up those extra yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Gains 15. There's a player down on the field. Trainers on their way out. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. And he's brought to the ground. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Second down and nine. Gets away from the heat. The reception, easy, wide open. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. The offense getting set. The goal line in sight. That's a gain of six. A lot of ways where the offense can go this time. They can run it or throw it. And even if they score, they're still going to be down but it's always great to execute the play the right way. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. Going across the middle, squeezes it into coverage. Halftime, two minutes away. They've got a first down now after that catch. Looking to go up top again on first down. He fires it in there tight. That's a gain of eight. Number nice five. catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first gain down. Of eight on the play. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. And he wants to throw it across the middle. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Well, the quarterback gets the completion. It's going to look good on the stat sheet, but there was no chance of getting the first down by catching and running against this defense. Quarterback's got to be a little braver and throw the football down the field. Maurice Jones-Drew not giving up another inch. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. First down here. They feed him the ball again. Powers his way across. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here. First down and 10. Here's the quick toss. Trying to find it over to the right. Number 32 on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Coming up, second down. Another carry here. Gaines, 17. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. They come to the line, and it's first down. Play action fake, and dropping back the throw. Swatted away. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. 
looks around, and they sack the quarterback. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. After that big-time sack, they'll now face third and 17. This is a five-step drop back. Launching it deep. A foot race to the end zone. He'll run it in for the score. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. Ohio! Ohio! The quarterback's hollering out instructions. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Reaches out and snatches it. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. First down all the way. They hand it off to the running back. And that's a gain of nine. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Second down here. Gets it again here. And that's a two-yard game. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Play fake here. 